Hi everyone, this is Greg Gazin, the Gadget Guy, and we're going from paper to videos to give you a little quick glimpse at a few gadgets that you can play with. Now think about it. You're on a trip, your phone dies, you've got no battery power, but hey, you know what? You got an old phone in the glove box, but you go and check it out, the battery's totally dead, and you're just totally out of luck. So you ever wonder what to do? Well, a company called XPAL has come out with a product called the Spare One. And what it is, it's actually a spare phone. It's a fairly vanilla phone, as you can see. It kind of looks like an old analog or an old cordless handset. And if you look really closely where the display is, there actually is no display. But what you can see through it is actually a battery. It's an Energizer Lithium Ultimate, the L91. And the company says that it should last for about 15 years. Fairly basic vanilla phone costs $69.99 and one thing cool about it, actually the best thing about it and what it's used for is that you can dial 911 without actually having a SIM card in it. Now if you do have a SIM card you can actually use it like a regular phone. Of course there's no display, there's not a lot of fancy features in it but you know what it's fairly functional for the price. So let's take a look. Right over here that big button in the center, first of all to turn it on push the little button because there's no display, it will actually beep and tell you what it's doing. So three beeps going up like that tells you you're turning it on. Now the button in the middle, the red cross button, if you hit that button, which I won't do today, that will actually dial 911 for you. As you can see, it's audible. All the buttons are, as you can see, as you can hear, I should say. All the buttons are audible when you push them. There's a little button on the bottom that can actually lock the keypad so you don't accidentally push something that you're not supposed to. Also, what's neat about it, it has a little built-in built in flashlight. Now again, there's no display, so you have a series of little LEDs over here that you can see that tell you what's happening, whether or not you got enough battery, whether or not you have enough battery power, or whether or not you actually have a signal. Now let's turn this off. Okay, oops. That tells you you're turning it off. Now, let's take it apart. Pretty easy. You just snap off the bottom. And as you can see, there you go. There's the battery in the back, the single battery. Again, it's fairly vanilla. Now, I had mentioned that you could use your own SIM card from your phone. Well, if you have a full-size SIM, you can just pop it in right over here. If you have a smaller SIM, on the back is a little key that you can use to pop out the SIM out of your, out of your phone, like your iOS device. And there's also a little SIM adapter that you could use. You pop your SIM into it. Now it sits in there very loosely, so you might want to put a little piece of scotch tape and then you put it in here in the back. Then you close it up and you're off to the races. Now we won't do that right now, but take my word for it, it actually does work. Again, no requirements for to actually have a SIM. You might want to make sure, you might want to just pop one out of your phone if you actually have to have to use it. Now, Spare One is a nifty little phone, again, if you're traveling the world. However, if you are a true world traveler, meaning you travel everywhere, then this is not a true world phone. There are actually two different models. They both run on the GSM network. One of them is the 850 and 1900 bands. Now, that will cover North America and Western parts of South America. And then there's the 900-1800, which pretty much covers the rest of the world. There are parts of the world that it won't work, like South Korea and Japan. Apparently this system doesn't work at all. And there are also some countries in the world where either will work. If you go to spareone.com, and we'll make sure that you get all the links, it will tell you exactly which countries that the models work where. So either way, you're going to be covered. And again, if you're a worldly traveler for $69.99, you might just want to get two. If you do decide you want to use this as a phone, you should get 10 hours of talk time. And again, the battery is supposed to last 15 years. I haven't actually tried it myself because I've only had it for a couple of months. So <laughs> I'll leave that up to you to try it out. But either way, it's a great solution as a spare phone. And also think about it. Maybe you have a family member or a relative who said, I'll never get a cell phone. But you know what? They need one for emergency to keep in their purse or their glove box. This will be perfect. Get them, get them a SIM. Get them a pay-as-you-go plan. 
and away you go. If nothing else, just get the phone, give them the phone, and again, they can call 911 in case of emergency without a SIM. So, highly recommend it. Really like it. It's made by XPAL. Just go to spareone.com and we'll give you all the information. This is Greg Gazin, the Gadget Guy. We'll see you online.